Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are upgrading the RAM on our Dell Inspiron 3880. So here's what we're going to be using today, our PH2 screwdriver and our DDR4 RAM. So first thing we want to do is shut down our computer. Once the computer is off, we can unplug our cables. So I have our power cable, mouse and keyboard, and our monitor cable. Next, we want to hold down the power button for a few seconds to remove any residual energy. Next, we want to unscrew these two screws using our fingers or a PH2 screwdriver. Now we can remove our side panel. So let us try to get a better angle for our camera here. So let us remove the original RAM. So all we got to do is push down these two locking tabs and gently remove the RAM. This is what the RAM looks like. So let's do that again, but let me give you a better look. So I push this down and I need to push this other tab down. Voila. And I gently remove the RAM. Easy peasy. Next, we want to show you a photo of the RAM. I'm sure someone's going to ask in the comment section, so I decided to put a photo. So here's our new RAM. I already cut open the packaging to make it easier for us. So one thing I like to do is I like to push down the tabs ahead of time before I insert the new RAM. For me, it's just easier. So here's the first stick. I align the notches, so I have the tabs down. And I gently place a new RAM and push it down. Voila. Now let me grab the second stick. So I line the notches. And I gently place it in. And lock it in place. So let's do that again. But I'm giving you a different angle. So I push down the tabs. Again, it's just easier for me that way. And then I align the notches and I gently push it in. Voila. Easy peasy. So second stick, I align the notches and I gently push it in. So far so good. So here's a photo to give you a better idea. Voila. So now let us return our side panel or side cover and let's screw it in alrighty now we can plug in our cables let me get my monitor too I also show you screenshots toward the end of the video to give you a better idea I know someone will probably wonder or ask about dual channel and stuff so I'll show you a screenshot of that as well from CPU-Z so let's turn on our computer first so what I did notice is when I first turned on the computer we do get a message saying alert uh, system memory has changed so you're gonna get this and you wanna press continue awesome so once you press continue it should load Windows automatically. So now that we have it loaded, let me show you the screenshots of before and after. So CPU-Z, you're going to notice right here, you can see that um, it does say dual channel in case you were wondering. And for the GPU change, we have shared GPU memory of 7.9 gigabytes now compared to 3.9 gigabytes previously. And our RAM itself is 12.2 gigabytes available compared to 3.8. 2666 megahertz, two out of two slots. So that is pretty much it. I hope this video helps you out. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.